Hello the internet! It is Friday the 1st of May 2020. Welcome back to a wave a day! A wave a day is where I surf a wave every single day, no matter what the conditions are, right here at my local Kalbara Beach, thanks to Bell Surf Wax and Ars and Wetsuits. And today being the start of the season, we got a few changes to be made here. First notable change is that I do not have a board sponsor any longer. Whoopsie! I also smacked that tree. Global Surf Industries, Australia pulled the pin on their entire business and consequently I lost my endorsement with them. So what does that mean for boards? Watch out trees. That means I'm still rocking the 7S Superfish. My gut feeling is I've advanced past this board, but this is what we have. This is what we're using for the next month. We'll see how we go on it. I feel like I've gotten more skilled than this board allows, but that's the nature of the position we're in. I've also lost a fin. I was rocking the glass fins from FCS and I lost one, so now I'm back to the plastic ones. Further to that, there is a whole bunch of technical changes we're gonna make to this project. This would be the sixth or seventh season of A Wave A Day. By the way, these videos aren't really rating on YouTube. And I asked you guys, the givers, oh, that's windy. What could I do to change that? And you all gave me some great ideas, some great concepts. And so we're gonna implement them starting today. We're gonna be using a longer format. I normally edit these down to say six or seven minutes. We're gonna push to the 10 minute mark and that's purely based around advertising and YouTube promoting longer form videos. So we'll try that. Woo! The second major change is that I am gonna be using more technology to shoot these videos. I'm gonna implement my drone, which is in my bag here behind me. I've made all the safety checks with CASA. This is definitely a thing you can do with a drone in Australia. You can fly in active track mode to film yourself. You can launch it from the beach and then you can be out surfing. The only two concerns I've got there is, number one, I've gotta carry the drone and these witches cones with me all the way up the beach. Walking one and a half kilometers with the traffic cones. We call them witches hats in Australia. The witches hats on my back swaying around. The big fat Phantom 4 in my bag. Not cool, but I'm willing to use it for whatever I can to up the quality here. As we near closer to the northern end of Kalbara Beach, let's do what we're gonna refer to as a CC. Condition check. The conditions. What are the conditions right now? We've got a northeasterly swell. When I checked last night, 1.2 meters, which is good enough. 1.2 is good. It's coming from the northeast, which is directly this way. The wind, which is the most critical thing, aside from the swell, is coming from the northwest, tending west-northwest. So the wind, as we surf, will be moving more to the offshore position, which is the greatest you want. Okay, so I've uh, set up my witch's hats here. My traffic cones. I have no faith in this drone active track working, but we're gonna persist with it. Let's put a fresh battery in and then let's go surfing. You're kidding me. Look at this active track. It's still on the freaking beach. This thing doesn't work at all. Look at it. It didn't even follow me even remotely. This thing's rubbish. Nah, it's not, it's not working at all. Absolutely rubbish. I haven't even entered the water yet. Now right, let's try start setting it up again. Active tracks on. Go. 
Let's put this back down. This thing's lost me already. Oh, this thing's freaking awful, right? I, I can't use this for surfing. What a waste of time. I'm already four minutes in and this thing can't follow me. Okay, we try again. 60% battery life. So we've already used 40% just trying to set this thing up. This is why I thought this wouldn't be worthwhile doing. I've got to cart all this crap with me. Missing out on the good ways. Please tell me that's working. Oh my goodness. I give up, I give up. I tried, I tried three times, folks, three times. Active track, Phantom 4, unusable. All right, that proves it. Active track on the Phantom 4 is unusable for surfing. What have we wasted now? Seven minutes in. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna persist with that every day for this month. That's ridiculous. That's, that just does not work. Now, let's go surfing. Welcome to a wave a day autumn edition where the temperature in the water is warmer than the outside temperature. Now I'm glad I did try the drone. Pretty disappointed that it didn't work, but hey, there's some nice rides coming through here. that I might have said good morning Monday. It's actually Friday. Oh, I mean, me thinking it's Monday is because the project begins today, but it's actually Friday. Wave number one for the month of May, the autumn edition. Well, we learned categorically 
the drone, the Phantom 4, even though you may do everything correctly and you set up witches, cones, traffic hats, do the right things, it makes no difference. If the P4 active track does not work, there is no point me bringing it up here every day. So what I am going to do, I'm going to set off the shot from home and come up here and get a shot and have a look at the ocean, then zip it back home. So from home, I can get a shot of the ocean, then I can walk up here and surf. Because I spent so much time this morning faffing with that machine to try to get it to do the simplest of tasks. Now, I do have my eyes on the Skydio 2, the Active Track drone, but that won't be released in Australia for a long time. Uh, definitely not this way of a day. It's probably not even gonna, might not even be this year. Uh, COVID-19 style as well, that's happening everything. So we're gonna use my drone for what we can, but ultimately it's gonna be the two GoPros and the beach camera. Hey, by the way, what about those two waves I got? Wow, holy crap. I was stoked, I was so pumped. How many dudes are out there as well? This is gonna be a good season, I can feel it. And if you like feeling it, then come back tomorrow for Waver Day Part 2. Hey, thanks for checking out my Waver Day project for May 2020. Now, if you liked what you've seen here and you wanna make sure that you don't miss any further updates, hit the old subscribe button there. You can also check out yesterday's wave right here. You can check out a previous vlog of mine, it may or may not be surf related, right here. And if you wanna support the content financially, Patreon right here. Ooh, there's waves to be had right here. Look at this.